Hello, uh, Mrs. Snow. Yeah, this is Jay calling from KR Research. Carol Snow. Can I call you Carol? Okay. I just wanted to ask you a few questions concerning your... Yeah, yeah and you have a good day too. Here, yeah, mate. Where were you last night? You missed a classic. So we go into the King and Queen chair and we start with a couple. And then go to this other place on the corner of Market Street. Have you ever been there? What? No. Okay, so we go in, I go up to the bar, I'm about to get a couple of drinks, feeling good about myself, and then I notice there's no women. It's just fellas. Not fellas like you and me fellas, no, no, no. They're all of a different persuasion, you know what I mean? We've walked into a pufter's bar, oh, and there's all these old queens everywhere, two good-looking guys going right into their den. Oh, you should have seen the look on Terry's face, it was classic. So we run out of there as fast as we can. Backs to the wall, know what I mean? <laughs> Hang on. Hi, Angel. Uh, Susan, Jake, could you come into yeah. my office, please? 32 hits and counting. Oh, yeah. So I think this is going to be it. <laughs> Paid holiday, bonus, promotion. I don't know. Something to keep their top player happy, know what I mean? <laughs> See? <laughs> Told you I could do it. 32 hits. No one's going to beat that, are they? <laughs> Not even close. Jay, um, do you realise that everyone has the right to work here without harassment, regardless of their sexual preferences? What? It's not just company policy, it's the law. What's that got to do with me? We can be sued unless we take action to stop harassment. Who's been harassed? I've heard that you've been making homophobic remarks. What? No, 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 not homophobic. Against gays? Uh, no, no, that's, that's not me. There's been a mistake. You sure? Yeah, of course. I've got nothing against gays. OK, well, take this as a friendly warning this time. Things that you may think are harmless may be upsetting to other people. So who was it then? Pardon? Well, someone must have said something. <laughs> that is not the issue. I bet it was Carl. He's the only one who could be gay because he's always going on about his partner. Look, it doesn't matter who it was. You don't have to be gay to find it offensive. And he always orders white wine when we're in the pub. What's wrong with that? That's not normal, is it? Well, I know he's come whinging to you because I've hurt his feelings. I mean, why can't he talk to me face to face like a man? He has to pussyfoot around. Jay, I'm going to give you a written warning and if you persist with your homophobic comments, you will be dismissed. No. I never meant nothing. Well, whether it was intentional or not, it's still against the law. <sighs> so they're saying I'm homophobic now. You know, because of that stuff I said about the gay bar. I mean, I wouldn't have said it if I knew anyone was listening. But, you know, who wants to go into a gay bar? Apart from gays, obviously. <sighs> now she's threatening me with the sack. But, you know, I mean, she can't do that, can she? About my rights. <laughs>